Hello drone friends, this is Alan at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School. Welcome to another week uh, where we cover the top drone news. Today we're going to start off with some devastating tornado aftermath footage out of Mayfield, Kentucky. I'm here in Nashville, Tennessee and last weekend when the storm passed through at around 3, 3.30 in the morning, my family was woken up by the tornado sirens and spent some time huddled in the safest part of our house just in case. And sure, that was a little scary, but absolutely pales in comparison to what folks in Mayfield and several other areas in the Midwest and South experienced last weekend. Then we're going to show you a new drone from a Chinese manufacturer you may have never heard of before called Beta FPV. We also have a legal win from Michigan where a drone ban in public parks was blocked thanks to a group of drone pilots who filed the complaint. Finally, Sony's first drone, the AirPeak S1, is available for pre-order, so I'm going to share some info about that. All right, let's jump in. Last weekend, more than 30 tornadoes stretched across six states. One of the most devastated areas is the southwestern Kentucky city of Mayfield. Whitney Westerfield is a Kentucky state senator and certified drone pilot and captured some aerial footage of Mayfield last Saturday morning. In an interview with CNN, Whitney mentions how he was not prepared for the breathtaking amount of damage he saw with his drone. But after the storm passed uh, and I gathered my stuff, I headed over to Mayfield. I wanted to observe the damage for myself. I wasn't prepared for what I saw. Uh, the drone uh, got in the air and the devastation and the path of destruction was enormous. Our hearts go out to those who were impacted by the storms last weekend. It is certainly hard to watch this footage again. Shifting gears to a lighter note, drone manufacturer Beta FPV recently released a new drone, the Pavo 360, along with a new 360 degree camera, the SMO 360, designed to be used together to capture high quality 360 degree drone footage. The Pavo 360 has retractable landing gear to help protect its camera and sells for $470, while the SMO 360 camera sells for $400. If you're looking for a drone that can record video footage like this, this unique combo is worth checking out. Next up, in a win for drone pilots, a Michigan judge has granted an injunction blocking a law in Ottawa County that bans drones from being used in county parks and other areas without a permit. In her ruling, the judge cited Michigan state law, which explicitly prohibits local governments in the state from enacting their own drone laws. Throughout the US, local authorities have created drone laws similar to the ones that were blocked in Ottawa County, but it may require individual lawsuits like this one from the Michigan Coalition of Drone Operators to actually block them. Unfortunately, many people who are unfamiliar with drones continue to put laws like these in place. We only hope that the drone community continues to grow to help educate those people on the positive use of drones and truly applaud the Michigan Coalition of Drone Operators for standing up for all of us here in the drone industry. Okay, lastly, Sony has been talking about its first drone, the AirPeak S1, for almost a year, and now it's finally for sale. The drone was first revealed in a teaser at the CES tech event back in January, but at the time, little info was shared. In June, Sony officially launched the AirPeak S1, unveiling all of its features and the fact that it was a high-end drone for cinematographers. Despite the launch, the drone has only now become available for pre-order. The AirPeak S1 will cost about $9,000, and we'll reportedly start shipping soon. All right, folks, that's all we have for this week. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on the latest drone news. Remember to check out the links below to read more. Thanks for watching, and to all of you drone pilots out there, blue skies and safe flying.